Good morning, guys. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Stacey Lee's Life with Cerebral Palsy. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are a new subscriber, welcome. If you have not already done so, please go ahead and subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss when I upload new videos. So, a little bit about this channel. If you come across this channel, that means you have come across a channel that talks about cerebral palsy and what my daily struggles are due to me having cerebral palsy and the purpose of me doing this channel or I should st say starting this channel is because I have gotten a lot of questions on what it's like for me to live with cerebral palsy. So instead of me getting mad about it, I decided I was going to help those who have disabilities and help them feel like they're not alone. So if you are interested on what it's like for me as an individual that lives with cerebral palsy every single day. Now keep in mind, all of my videos are not coming from a doctor's perspective, a any type of medical profession's perspective. This is coming from my perspective. So, please forgive me if I get some medical terminology wrong. This is coming from my perspective to help those, maybe, maybe because they have questions and they're not sure how to go about it and they want to know more about it. Now, whatever I tell you, don't go and do what I necessarily do do what fits you best and I'm also here to help those who don't understand what cerebral palsy is because a lot of people have a misconception that you cannot have a life because you have cerebral palsy and then there's all types of cerebral palsy there's people out there that have cerebral palsy that can't walk they cannot talk but it does not mean that just because we need extra help or whoever it may be needs extra help. It does not mean that we don't understand what you were saying. And as I said, keep in mind this is coming from my perspective. And I hope that you guys get something out of the videos that I do for you. Because my my intentions of doing these videos or for you is not just to do this type of platform. I want to make it bigger than what it is now. I want to be a motivational speaker to help those who don't understand and those who live with cerebral palsy every day because we feel alone and we feel like there's nobody out there that understands it. And I'm here to tell you, just because I can't walk and I have a disability, I totally understand where people are coming from when they have a disability such as cerebral palsy. Like I said, there's all different types of disabilities out there. It's not just cerebral palsy. And I 
try to help anyone just because that person may not have a disability. I try to help anyone, whoever it may be. So what I wanted to talk about today, if you guys are in here back in July, I had got a knee fusion done. Go watch that series and you'll know what I'm talking about. <coughs> I made a playlist for it. So go watch that series. It's called The Countdown Begins. Go check my playlist out for that. But what I want to talk about today is how my knee is healing and what the changes that we made with my knee, how that's going. So if you're going through something like this, you know what to expect. And just because some, some, some symptoms have happened to me, it does not mean that it's going to happen to you. Keep that in mind. So I try to give you guys a weekly update on how my knee is doing. And I have not gotten around to it because I've been extremely busy. However, today I'm going to make a, a video about how my knee is healing. So here is the weekly update. On November 26th, I had got my fixator off. And the doctor said he put me to sleep, but... He didn't put me to sleep. I felt everything that he was doing when he took the fixator off. And I noticed after he took it off, I'm still in a lot of pain. And it's not that my knee hurts. It's because I'm still healing from the surgery. It's only been, it will be five months since I had the surgery, but I'm still healing. And what I noticed about the surgeries after he did the surgery, my knee feels a lot better. However, there is some weird sensations going on, such as me not being able to feel my knee anymore. It when you touch it, it feels like somebody's pricking me with a bunch of needles at times, and other times I can't feel it at all. And the reason for that is because he cut the nerve in my knee to disconnect the feeling in my knee. Because before I had the knee surgery, I ended up breaking my knee. That That is why I got the surgery to begin with. Because I ended up breaking my knee and it hurt to bend it. And at the time, I knew that I broke it. But at the time, my doctors were fighting me, telling me there's nothing wrong with my knee. And I knew that there was something wrong with my knee. So finally, he did an MRI, and sure enough, I was right. I broke a piece of my bone off in my knee. So he scraped that and then put four screws in my knee. It's like a flat square and then he screwed that into my bone and fused my knee together which means when I say fused he straightened my knee so I would never be able to bend my leg again and you may say to me oh that sounds painful why did you go do it and that was because I had no choice, guys. I broke my knee, and it hurt 
to bend it so to stop it from hurting he just straightened it do I recommend getting surgery done absolutely not because it's a long painful annoying process that you have to go through for it to heal and for me I have to ask for help and I'm the type of person that I hate asking for help because to me asking for help because I have cerebral palsy yes I understand people need help but for me asking for help and I don't know why and I've always felt this way it's a sign of weakness for me I don't want to say I'm too proud to ask for help because if I need help I will ask for help but I don't like asking for help because I don't like bothering people I feel like I'm a burden to people so I try to do everything on my own and my excuse my language if kids are watching this click out of this part my dumbass tries to do everything by myself knowing that I can't do it I notice I cannot lay on my stomach anymore because if I try to lay on my stomach then it bothers my knee and like my knee kind of, or my leg kind of lifts off the bed when I'm laying flat it does it doesn't even feel like my leg is flat on the bed. But it actually is. It just doesn't fit, feel like. But as I said, I noticed anytime I bump it or scrape it, I have this weird sensation. And I noticed right after I got the fixator off, I've been having problems with my ankle, and I still, since he took the fixator off, I still have problems with my ankle, which, when I say problems, guys, my ankle hurts. It feels like it's going to snap in half. So right now, to keep it stabilized, I have a ace bandage on it. And that seems to help a little bit, but I can still feel the pain with the ace bandage being on it. And it drives me crazy to like the back of my leg will itch and I just have weird sensations and I, I really can't explain it. It's something that you have to go through to under 